Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. Good evening. Salutations. Welcome to the video. We are here once again with another episode of Dr. Stone. This one is titled, uh, First Dream. This is episode 20 of season 3. And it seems that the greatest conflict of this season, um, Minister Ibarra, has been dealt with. Uh, due to the quick thinking and intelligence of Senku and Ryusui. Um, yeah, it would seem that they, they won. The treasure island is now theirs. So... I'll be dipped. I will like I'm genuinely happy that, that they were able to succeed and they were able to get what they needed and they were able to outsmart Ibarra, who seemed to be very much adept at dealing with a lot of the stuff that they threw at him. And then last thing that he didn't expect was the little earring on the on the Medusa, and then that was it. Game over. But yeah, the uh, this season has been a lot of fun. This season's been really, really good. It's expanded the world, expanded the lore, and has just given new, like, new credence to what they're doing, and also opened up a whole wave of just different things that that like that is possible, like with the Medusa. The new, you know, the new tribe on Treasure Island. And, of course, you know, like, the concept of uh, the Y-Man and who he is. I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of mystery still in this show. And I know that we're going to be getting to, uh, getting to, like, some of the mystery in this. Because now that, now that Ibarra's out of the way, there's nothing stopping Senku and the Kingdom of Science from just doing whatever the hell they want to do on this island. So here's to hoping that they convince the uh, the people of the island of uh, of good things, and they're able to basically just move forward on that. But I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see how it goes. But anyway, uh, we have the episode queued up here, and let's uh, check it out. Let's see what we got. Are you ready? Let's go. Chrome. I knew Chrome would have to be probably the first that he that he'd bring back. Senko. <laughs> that is so bad. We won, didn't we? Yeah, sure did. <laughs> For food, Amaryllis. Aha, the forager. <laughs> so heavy. Thank you. Yay! Francois. Francois! Yay! So, is this Ruri Chrome's lover? She has to be a former flame at the very least. No. That girl's actually Senku's ex-wife, or so I've been told. What? Oh, that's right. You never knew. It was only three minutes. While our signal should reach, there's one problem. Uh-oh. Right. Yeah, it's been trashed. Uh, getting mad and yelling won't fix this disaster zone. This is true. I don't think I've ever actually seen you get truly angry before, Senku. This much damage will take several weeks to repair. Thus, I will go and ready the mess hall. I'm kind of loving how proficient this latest team member is. <laughs> I was wondering why she has gloves but no regular clothes. I guess that's just a. F I guess that's just a joke. Now that we aren't waging a war, we can focus on reviving everyone. Hey! <laughs> Every time I'm revived, there's a brutal <laughs> amount of work waiting for me! I know! <laughs> oh, quit your complaining. Oh, and there goes Taiji. Your statue gonna... should be right below the ship. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna say... Revive her too. If there's one person that deserves to come back, I think it's probably her out of like the out of the village. Yeah. We really want to risk our safety. <laughs> Let's smash her up. 
You don't even hesitate when it comes Magna, to murder. stop it. You should learn to stop and think a bit too. You're free now. What do you want from me? Know those invaders you caught? Where'd you dump their statues once you got them down? Oh, Kohaku! Kohaku and Ginro! Hey! Welcome back, buddy. Wait, my wound! Yep, it's gone. <sighs> Kohaku! Thank you so much, Kohaku! Careful. You had the brass plan! <laughs> <laughs> He's still Ginro. Oh. No fair! <laughs> Why? Because it's Senku, damn it. Kirasame has been under the impression those two are legit sweethearts since the moment they kissed. <gasps> oh, that's right. I really don't think it's that kind of hug. Go! There's the brute strength, they're both. Kick his ass! Show them people over the sea are tough as rocks! <laughs> <laughs> yes, our glorious comms are all patched up now! Can't communicate with this much noise in the background, so hush, would ya? <laughs> I'm glad I finally got through. Let's save our story swapping for the next time. This is your first exchange with your ex-wife since all the chaos that happened on the island. She doesn't even get a high? That's classic Senku for you. <laughs> right, so, were you the ones who sent that odd message? That is, unless... Yep. <laughs> it's not Morse code. Nope. No code. Wait, somebody's speaking. That's 12 million and 800,000 meters in one second. What? No, it's going to trigger! Keep it away from the speaker, even if it kills you. <laughs> well? Did you hear the, did you hear the number? Mm -hmm. It's like 12 million. That's the circumference thousand. of the earth, dude. Yeah. That's the entire area of the Earth. <laughs> Why did he sound like Senku? I don't know. Why use the radio? <laughs> this is insanity! 12 million and 800,000 meters wide? You know what's 12 million 800,000 meters? <laughs> <laughs> the diameter of planet Earth. Yeah, he tried. The real issue at hand isn't what he said. It's who said it. I know that voice. Because it's your Senku. Perfect 12 million and 800,000 meters in one second. Yep, that's what I thought. I wonder what that's this about. This is exhilarating. That voice, it dips into the same uncanny valley as a Vocaloid because it's synthetic. Oh, damn. How? How isn't really all that significant at this point. The fact is it's being done. I want to know why. Why yep. send a transmission using That's a synthetic a voice? Question. Who would do it? Also, from where? When you finally petrified Ibarra, you tricked him, right? By giving the command over the radio? <clears throat> what if he heard? And that's how he's copying you. Is this why dude, man's like, an artificial smart? intelligence, in my opinion? I'd say so, too. I figured the Medusa was his invention, but now I'm not sure. That's got the wheels in my head turning, too. Why was the device on the island at all? There you go. Exactly. If we had somebody who knew the device's history, they might also know about Y-Man. Who's this person? Oh, yeah. An ancient islander our Taiju happened to pluck from the sea floor. Looks like a wound or a tattoo. What do oh. you think it is? It's got a... Looks like the Medusa. Oh, wow. It's swoopy like the Medusa thingy. Okay. I hope nobody's got the Medusa on them right now, and I hope somebody's ready to fight. Why does he look familiar? That strange light was not my end. <laughs> yep, you got it. Ah, no freaking way! Way! <gasps> What? <laughs> Master! What? Mm. I'll save you! Whoa, dude! Holy crap. Uh, uh, huh? I, Matsukaze, will not let those brigands have their way now that I've returned to you, my lord. Um, wait. 
So, uh, you're on our side? Look, this guy isn't your master. He's just our resident sleazebag. Hey! That isn't true! <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> uh, hi. I'm probably his reincarnation. So, how about you serve me in his place? Sounds good, right? <laughs> Under the title resident sleazebag. I'll tell my story. Aha! Life on this island was peaceful once upon a time. <gasps> Oh, wait, what? Ooh. What the hell is it? Countless of these nightmarish devices rain down from the heavens. Wait, what? But weren't we kind of in the middle of hearing Matsukaze's story? Science will Ooh. fill in the gaps. <laughs> and they're gone like the wind. They're gone to look for extra medusas that are just buried in this uh, dirt around here probably probably this parabolic antenna is gonna help us trace the signal mr. Y man's been pissing on us oh this guy is well beyond the earth's surface or even the atmosphere hmm. I won't really? even pretend like I know what that means so the signals not too far off wait then you're saying he's actually really close no it can't be both once again, the okay. concept of like Earth's we rotation have... escapes them and like how that works. And our results tell us the enemy is a few hundred thousand kilometers above. If you need me to spell it out, he's on the moon. Oh shit, really? What? The signal's moving in conjunction with it. So there's no mistake. Exactly. How the hell? Oh. You gonna do nuke the moon? <laughs> now wait just a second here. I have an admin feeling about all this. A feeling that's most assuredly correct. Oh, Sengu, no. You said it since the beginning of the show. I know you. That's right. Time for progress. Because we're going to the moon. <laughs> Damn it. I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> well, you were right. He's been saying it Good since morning, the very man. beginning. Hey. I'm starting to not buy this plot, though. There's, there's, uh, there's some holes for me. Uh, such well, as the fact that, okay, if whatever's doing this is on the moon and it rained down Medusas from the moon a number of years ago onto this village, what's stopping it from doing it to them again right now? I don't know. Maybe limited resources? Because that's the thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know, like, we, we don't know 100% what the Y-Man has at his disposal, but I think what happened with the Medusas was that was the Y man's like strike like uh, trying to strike out the last bit of humanity it's like you, you know they, they kind of just found out that they could potentially be on a uh, doomsday timer like oh potentially yeah like at any moment they don't know when it could rain down medusas on top of them well yeah because he can and it, they don't have any kind of solution yet to con to combat that there's no counter to it so far so outside of what Sinku did with like the timing of like the dropping of the uh, of the fluid on his head it's like when they first sent that signal out and alerted the Y man that they were still around they probably like they, they were probably already on a time limit they were probably already on bot time because eventually Y man would have probably figured out that there was another village of people down there he missed yeah. They probably would have bombarded them at some point. Probably, but yeah. But I think they drastically shortened their timer until Y-Man ne like, makes his next move in that case. Uh-huh. When it, once they made him aware of them. So I think that they're on bar borrowed time at the moment to figure something out. And going to the moon sounds like a monumental task for them to do in like a short amount of time, you know? Yeah. I mean, it is quite possibly... like. Well, here's the thing about it. The biggest problem with, like, going to the moon is the equations and, like, the know-how of, like, rocketry, assembly, and everything like that. Sinku has all that. Sinku has all the knowledge needed, and he's got a great building crew that can basically do anything. And I would say if, like... Manpower is something that they're not in any short supply of now because they can com they can make infinite revival fluid with the new with the new setup they have now. So if they wanted to, they could basically 
Oh my god. Something they're just go something a, just occurred to me. I think they're going to go on a trip to revive everyone from NASA or something. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> they're going to go to like the area where NASA where NASA was or like or even better the rocketry lab in uh, in Alabama. Like there's several huge like advanced rocketry lab in Alabama, the uh, JPL in uh, the J the Jet Propulsion Lab in uh, in California. NASA in Texas and like several and like Kennedy Space Station down in Florida. Like there's several places they could go that they could uh, that they could do something. I mean, it wouldn't be out of their wheelhouse now now that they have a ship that can that's capable of doing that. I think that their exact next step should not be to go straight to the moon. Like their next step should be Senku figuring out Maybe his top two or three ways that he thinks the Y Man has launched Medusas out of space, yeah, hit the Earth with them, and coming up with a countermeasure, um, Fair such enough. as if he thinks that, you know, well, it's been able to lock in on a signal that it deemed to be like a big enough population of people or something like that, then decoys. Like come up a way to come up with a way to set up decoys and stuff like that because yeah surely Senku's smart enough when he hears synthesized voice that he's already thinking about the idea that it's an artificial intelligence they're up against. <laughs> it's on the moon. That's even more like evidence because the the thing would have had to survive for untold amounts of time in space, which humanity that's not even really done except for on the space station. Right? But here's one thing you need to understand about about humans human beings in terms of like their survivability are extremely inefficient because of the amount of water the amount of food the amount of like oxygen and the amount of just like th you know raw resources we need to survive mm -hmm. an artificial intelligence only needs a supercomputer like a like a it like a basically a supercomputer that can run for a very long time all it needs is the and, proper shielding from uh, and like, spaceborne radiation and temperatures, and not, and power. Yeah, and here's power. the thing about and, and here's can, the thing it can about get infinite solar power. In space. That's the thing. You have a big enough solar array, you can power, you can power a city the size of New York City. Yeah. And I don't think that artificial intelligence needs that much power. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I'm thinking like AI on the moon makes sense over a person being up there. You know. Yes. And I would say that's probably what we have at, what we have at, you know, as an enemy right now. I would be willing to guess that I'm 99% certain that they're up against an AI at this point now. I would say so, Because too. that's the only thing that makes sense to me. Why would someone, why would a person decide to petrify everyone on Earth? And not only Unless that, Unless they but, were just batshit insane. And not only that, but how could the person still be alive over 3,700 exactly. years later? How did they avoid it happening to them, too, and how did they live that long? Like, the only thing that makes sense is AI. Yeah. Well, I guess... It, it, it's either AI or aliens. And I'm hoping it's AI. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking it's more than likely AI because this is, like, a science show, you know? Yeah. It's like, aliens would be a little more science fiction the science show. Even though technically it's not out of the bounds of question for there to actually be another intelligent race of life somewhere in the galaxy. Potentially. Species. But once again, well, once again, we don't know. We're still, we're still in the dark we're about the a lot of things. Right? Huh? I said galaxy, but my universe. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, I ain't got nothing else to say about this except for damn what an episode and a lot of possibilities have been laid out in front of us and I don't know what's going to happen next but I'm excited so I guess until next time everyone signing off I'm Nate I'm Nick y'all be good people take care bye bye